Hey everyone, welcome back. In this ISTQB exam questions and answers video, I'm going to cover the last five question of this particular exam set and then we'll move to the new exam set. So the first question of this particular video says you are a member of a test team located in North America developing a product for a client located in Europe. Okay, so North America, Europe, time difference, right? Time zone is uh, different. So the team, what the question is, the team is agile and follows developer DevOps approach and uses a continuous integration, continuous delivery pipeline. Which of the following is the least effective way? Okay, so which of the following is least effective way to communicate test progress to the customer? Now here you, you have to see that we have to figure out the least effective way to communicate test progress to the customer, right? So whosoever the customer is there because you are located in North America, the customer and the client is located in Europe. So we know there is a time zone difference. So if we talk about least effective way, so straight away you we have to select one option. You will see that the least effective way would be basically face to face right there there is no question why because there is so much time zone time difference the teams are not co-located how will you be able to do the face to face communication or communicate the test progress to the customer face to face right so most effective is dashboard email video conferencing all of that is fine straight away you can mark this as correct answer face to face is the least effective way to communicate test progress progress because of the time zone difference and you are not co-located okay so sometimes the questions are that simple as well in ISTQB okay so moving to the next one which of the following best describes an example of how configuration management supports testing okay so how the configuration management supports testing we have to select one option so having the version number of environment the configuration management tool can retrieve the version numbers of libraries stubs drivers used in that environment absolutely this looks absolutely correct but let's eliminate the others having a record of values of the test inputs the configuration management tool can execute the test cases for these configurations and calculate test coverage that's not what configuration management tool will best do right having data about the data purchase of the software license, the configuration management tool can automatically generate information about the fact that the product license is coming to end. That's also not what configuration management tool is best describing. This statement doesn't best des describe what how configuration management supports testing, right? This is more of supporting the testing. If you talk about supporting the testing, the only option that we found is A till now, okay? Having the version number of the test case, the configuration management tool can automatically generate test data for this test case no that that's not what configuration management does so the correct answer is a having a version number of the environment configuration management tool can retrieve the version number of libraries stubs drivers used in that environment that's absolutely correct that's what the configuration management is best at and this statement best describes how configuration management supports testing okay moving to the next one the third question of this particular video you are testing a sort function that gets a set of numbers as input and returns the same set of numbers sorted in ascending order the log from the test execution looks as follows okay so you'll see that logs of the test execution the question says that it takes the that you are testing a sort function that gets the set of numbers as input and returns the same set of numbers as sorted okay in ascending order all right now let's go through the log environment configuration sort function this is the build test case set of test case and then run id and then start time and end time and the total time in the cycle so let's go through the execution of test case one okay there are five test cases input three output three this is passed then test case two input three eleven six five and then it's sorted in the ascending order three five six and eleven that's passed test case three input was eight seven seven eight seven three seven one output was one three seven eight result failed okay that's fine then we have input as minus two minus two minus two minus three minus three and the output was in the ascending order minus three and minus two okay and then the last one is zero minus two zero three four four 
and in the ascending order minus two zero three four okay so now if you watch closely so we have gone through this what we, we should should have read this question first uh sorry about that but yes i mean I, i've analyzed this particular test case execution what exactly they are asking is which of the following provides the best description of the failure that can be used in a defect report now below based on this we have to find the best description of the failure that can be used in the report okay so we have analyzed this execution execution already let's go through these options the system fails to sort several set of numbers reference tc345 okay the system seems to disregard duplicates while sorting okay reference 3 4 and 5 system fails to sort negative numbers that's not correct it's sorting the negative numbers so we can cross that out test case 3 4 and 5 have defects duplicate input data and should be corrected that's not also the best description of the failure that you are going to mention if you watch closely what is happening is as soon as you give the duplicates so the duplicates are disregarded so you'll see that here we have seven twice so seven got only counted once and that's basically how it is get giving the output here we have minus two three times and minus three two times you will see the output was only minus three and minus two so basically the correct description if we see that it is disregarding the duplicates in the input so here you will see the zero zero and then minus two three four was twice so only once four is there only once zero is there right so basically any duplicate input any duplicate number in the input is disregarded so the correct answer is not even the first one the system fails to sort several set of numbers that's also very vague vague it's not a the best description the system seems to disregard duplicates while sorting right and this is what is required when you are writing the defect report the more you clarity you provide what exactly is happening and you will be able to figure out exactly while executing what exactly is happening you are providing duplicate values in the input and those are disregarded in the sorting when sorting is done in the ascending order so this is the most or the best description for this particular defect report okay so now moving to the fourth question of this particular video given the following descriptions and the following test tool categories which of the following best matches the descriptions and categories again we have to match all right so let's figure out the best one that we know that we will be able to map okay so whatever you know for example you read through, through these four options and you think okay virtual machines or support reviews is what i'll be confident about to map then map that and try to eliminate the others that you think won't be relevant okay so we talk about support workflow tracking facilitate communication virtual machines support reviews all right so if we say support workflow tracking so in the workflow tracking which test tool category best describes support workflow tracking static testing tool not at all right tool supporting scalability and deployment standardization not at all right support workflow tracking the best is devops tool right so devops tool is more of ci cd pipeline in the devops devops tool you can basically easily track the workflow the phases etc right so that's where the first one clearly maps with c and that's where basically you straight away got the answer right so here if you'll see that if you are 100% sure that support workflow tracking maps to devops tool then we just have one option which has this one c right and then we just go ahead and see others are correct or not okay so facilitate communication right now facilitate communication is more of a collaboration okay so collaboration tool 2d right so absolutely correct virtual machines virtual machine is more of tools supporting scalability and deployment standardization right so that's what virtual machine do it's more of standardized deployment and then scalability so 3 is b okay and then 4 obviously support reviews reviews static testing tools right so 4 is a 3 is b 4 is a and c is the correct answer so we just got one and quickly validated that other are correctly matching and came up to the conclusion that c is the correct answer for this okay so now moving to the last question of this particular video which of the following is most likely okay which of the following is most likely to be a benefit of test automation benefit of test automation okay so it provides coverage measures that are too complicated for humans to derive okay then second second one says we just have to select one option it shares responsibility for the testing with the tool vendor not at all absolutely baseless answer 
it doesn't share responsibility right the automation benefit test automation doesn't share responsibility i mean tool vendor won't share the responsibility for testing right it removes the need for critical thinking when analyzing test results no not at all critical thinking is the key part right so that's human that that's where your thought process will be required your critical thinking will be re required to analyze test result to scenario to uh, design the scenario so that's also incorrect it generates test cases from an analysis of the program code no that that's not what the test automation does so the correct answer is it provides coverage measures that are too complicated for humans to derive that's absolutely correct and most likely the benefit of test automation so is the correct answer for this particular question okay so that's last five question of this particular question set exam set in the next video i'll cover another sample exam set and i'll cover five questions in each of the further videos of the stqb exam which will definitely definitely help you in understanding these questions applying these techniques and then pass your ISTQB certified tester foundation level exam if you study well practice these exam questions i'm pretty sure you will be easily be able to crack the ISTQB exam so that's all for this video i hope this was helpful see you in the next one thank you <laughs>